Hi, my name's Ben and uh, I'd just like to show you this solar still that I made. Uh, it's been up and running for a month or so. And it's a uh, glass, it's toughened glass, 4mm glass all round. And <clears throat> I've got it hinged on the front. And it's based on um, a kitchen sink. Um, basically, um, I'll just open it up. I'll have a look. So I've used some. Um, oops. These are these are card table stays that I got from the hardware store. And um, what I've done is I've based it um, on a kitchen sink. It's actually a two two basin kitchen sink. And I've built a, um, a frame around it and a table. And um, these trays here, full of water, they're actually non-stick baking trays that I've modified to fit in here. And I've mounted them on a stainless steel frame, which I've welded together. And they they are on little adjustable feet. So I'll show you those in a while when I come I'll come back when water has evaporated. Because I just put this water in last night, so <clears throat> and because it's overcast, it's um, going to take a while to evaporate off. But I had to cut these trays, one edge off them, to get them to fit in because I couldn't find a tray the right size because my starting point was the kitchen sink. So <clears throat> the temperature in here is uh, about 42 degrees at the moment. But it, it does go up to 70 degrees when it's really sunny. Um, and that, that there is about four, I think it's six litres of water. doesn't look like much, but it's actually quite a lot. And that'll take, if the sun's out, that might take a day and a half to evaporate off. And it, <coughs> I've organised it so the inside edge of the glass is just on the lip of the um, sink where the sink goes down so when the water the drops come down they fall on the inside of that lip and flow down into the basins and there's a seal here which I made in place <coughs> I had to make, inject inject the elastic um, into that gap to make a perfect seal and this is um, a special non-toxic um, sealant. I think a lot of home brewers use this. It's called Kason. Kason, I think, is the brand name. Um, so what I'll do is um, make sure this doesn't fall. What I'll do is I'll come back um, when the water has evaporated. I've got these little <coughs> latches on there. And I'll um, show you what's underneath the tray and how I collect the water. Basically, there's a plug in here and I can push the plug up from underneath and let the water out from both basins into my collection jar. So I'll come back in a while and show you um, the rest of the, the setup. Hopefully the sun will come out. See you soon. It's been quite sunny and hot, so all the water's gone. Uh, it's very hot in here, I'd say. Uh, so you can see it's about. Um, 75 degrees, all bone dry. 
can see all the white streaks from the fluoride and the minerals in the water all left behind there. Unfortunately these trays rusted out. I thought if they were baking trays that can design to stand 300 degrees in an oven uh, in dry conditions but they can't cope with just 60 degrees in humid conditions uh, if the coating starts to break down so originally I wanted to make one tray that was possibly uh, vitreous enamel, baked enamel but I'd have to make up a special tray for that um, so I'll get the water out now I'll just uh, lift this up and you can see the there's water in there which I'll get out now so that um, yep about um, three or four liters I guess um, so now uh, <clears throat> I'll just show you a few other things the um, it's kind of hot to touch so I'll just move this tray off touch. So I'll just push the plugs back in, that one and that one, so we're right to go for next time. And I'll just lock that one so it's a bit safer. And see behind here, um, these, uh, what I've done is use two baking trays, one, one on top of the other you can see two of them there and they're, they're riveted into this frame and in between them is three three layers of acrylic blanket to create insulation uh, so it heats up better and originally I had an idea all these tubes here originally were for a self-filling system originally my idea was to have it automatically filling when the trays dried out to have them have a float switch um, automatically turn the water on and and fill these trays up so these were joining the trays to make them fill up evenly and these were the overflows the, these were going to be the overflows but it's actually quite complex so I, I decided to just fill the trays up manually, just lift the glass and fill them up manually, it's much easier. And that's the little feet here. Uh, what I did there is I threaded this this frame and got a machine screw and cut the head off it. And this is a lock nut there. And I, I adjusted that until I got it dead level, until it's uh, perfectly level. And these fit into, I uh, made a little indent there. You can see these indents. And that point there just um, fits into those. So it's a little bit difficult one handed. Right, here we go. So, just like that. So, we're ready to go again. And the other thing is that the rust taste, the taste of the rust actually has been ending up in the water. But if I put it through my cartridge, carbon cartridge filter, it's okay. But I think I'm going to have to replace this tray with something. Um, so now I'll go put that water um, through my filter. So 
And now I'm going to fill it up again. Uh, I'm just going to do this manually. to go again. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's, uh, um, if you're wondering how I put the glass together, it's just, um, there's actually no sealant on the inside. The, um, on the inside there, you can see the sealant is actually on the outside, underneath these cap strips. So I, I buttered the glass up together, uh, and then I ran a bead of elastic on the outside. Uh, of the glass and then I put the cap strips on so that it's all stuck together from the outside to keep the sealant um, out of the inside of the still. And this is maple that I had lying around which I've coated with some marine epoxy and just bits of ply that I had lying around to make that frame. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed making it. It was a nice project and hope to improve it um, over time. Thank you. Bye.